I firmly believe that modern society has failed men as a whole. Sure, we were always the disposable gender who had to work the hardest. But that's okay, because we never complained about that. I personally am proud of the hard work I have to do and the troubles I have to endure as a man, because I derive my confidence and value from my work. I derive my self-respect from the money and security I am able to provide to the people close to me. But after the 1960s things started to change. We became even more disposable and began to be hated for what we were. Before, societies honored men and their strength. The Greeks, for example, made statues out of the ideal male body and honored the value a man provided to society. So did the Romans. These societies understood that glorious civilizations are laid down over the bones and blood of thousands of men. After the 1960s, we stopped seeing wars and conflicts that often. Especially in the US, war was a distant thing, something you only saw on the TV and heard about on the news. Famines and droughts were a thing of the past and females developed this false sense of security. They started thinking, maybe the world was always like that. When they developed that outlook on life, they diminished the role a man played. Even now men work the hardest jobs, occupy the greatest percentage in prison, and build entire cities, but they are hated for it. There's no gratitude for their labor, no acceptance of their role in society. It's insulting that society even appreciates mediocrity when it comes to women. When women make it in the workplace, they're featured in New York Times and Forbes magazine. I don't remember the last time a man was praised for his journey and how he climbed the ladder. We don't care about the man who rose from the dirt because it's not even impressive in their eyes anymore. Every day men die in construction and on the streets, but that's okay. It's like society has become blind to the state of men. They don't even want to consider them in the picture unless they're rich and influential. Unless they're already in the position where you can point to them and blame them for the world's problems. That's why it pains me to say that the state of modern masculinity is a sad one. When I see young guys growing up, I feel sad. I see them lost and acting mindlessly because they have lost their purpose. Responsible and hard-working young boys have mediocre jobs because they no longer understand modern society. Many guys out there waste their potential looking for the right mentors. There aren't any good mentors left or father figures who can guide these men forward. The only mentors society has for them a liberal therapist with a psychology degree that she got from her daddy's money. She got wasted for four years of college, lived a hedonistic student life, and now urges these boys to live to the fullest and YOLO and all that garbage. Young guys with all this aggression and lack of purpose have nothing to relate with this suburban graduate. She's never even been bullied in her life, and you expect her to counsel young guys. What does she understand about masculinity? Whether the majority wants to accept it or not, men are not like women. Our purpose defines us. We become incredibly unhappy when we cannot build something or have no responsibilities. We cannot engage in mindless fun. It brings immense guilt to waste time when we are not contributing to society. That's why a lot of guys today are depressed. A lot of average looking guys don't understand why life punishes them this way. Why were they born into a poor family and why are they treated like garbage? The girls don't like them and society doesn't care about their issues. There was a time in history when society valued men like these. Today, only good-looking guys get attention. These average men serve their land and country. Maybe they came from the village, joined the military, and rose their ranks. Maybe they became entrepreneurs, local politicians or landowners. There are countless stories like that of men coming from nothing and providing something of value to their people. That's what men are for. That's what we feel proud doing. That's why the majority of young guys have daydreamed about saving their family and school from peril at least once in their life. It's in our blood. What happened instead is that society made men docile. Testosterone levels are the lowest they've ever been. Men are unfulfilled and resort to anything that grants them purpose. Capable young guys play video games all day because only games give them a sense of progress. Porn is so normalized that it is a substitute for human attention and affection. Guys simp over internet women all day and waste their family's money just so they can feel accepted and loved. 
when they can't do this, they end up in the streets doing drugs or crime or both. Most men live sad lives because the shaming of masculinity starts in high school. The media made all the fit and strong men look bad. I played a ton of sports in high school and yeah, while there are some Dutch bags, there are no such things as the jock bully. Most guys in sports are the most dedicated, disciplined, and nice guys you'll ever meet. That's the way in a lot of fields. Dutch bags don't get to the top ranks. Only nice, respectful people who know how to be modest and work hard make it in life. Society made stereotypes of us all. They called bodybuilders insecure jerks. They stereotyped business owners to be cheating thieves. It's a pattern of indoctrinating young guys from the start. To make them ditch their masculinity and live the average life. The system needs more slaves who will join the corporate rat race, work without question, go back home, jerk off and lull themselves to sleep. They need blind people who never question things, never rebel, never ask for their rights, and never strive for excellence. In the name of rights and feminism, we turned our societies degenerate. We made men unfit and submissive. We destroyed our family structures and our moral values. You know, there's something wrong with society when people are earning millions off of OnlyFans. Did anyone ever stop to ask, why are all these guys buying OnlyFans? Are they happy? Are they doing it because they like it? No one wants to swallow that pill. In real life, guys who buy OnlyFans are creeps and learners. No one wants to reach out and help them. They'd rather ignore him and pretend it's not a problem. Male suicide is rising. Marriages are failing. Every year, the amount of men who date goes down. The number of successful marriages goes down, and so do the birth rates. We have upset the natural balance and society is suffering because of it. What's worse is virtual reality and the metaverse is just around the corner. Even more, men will suffer by falling into the trap of virtual sex, money and glory. Masculinity will be reduced to a shell of what it originally was. There's a part of ourselves that was made for the earth, made to venture out into the plains and climb mountains and build. This is an animal side to our humanity that we need to embrace. Until we evolve within our brains, this modern way of living will only make us sick and weak. Men are not made for this life. They're made to live out there in nature, fight, compete and build. They're made to devote themselves to a purpose and work for it. They're made to raise happy families because that's what gives us happiness. It's so ironic that such a simple luxury as marriage and children has been taken away from the Western man. And a lot of guys have just sat down and accepted it. They've even convinced themselves that they don't want it. They lull themselves with mindless sex, high-speed porn, unhealthy food, and other vices. That's why I say modern masculinity is a sad affair. Men are hated for what we are. We are being forced to become something we aren't. Everyday young guy with potential is giving up on life and becoming average, and no one bats an eyelash. Everyday war veterans and injured workers die on the streets and their stories go unheard. The people who hold up our civilization are not only being demonized but being removed from the picture entirely. Masculinity is dying and modern society is cheering from the sidelines. That's it for today. I hope you are living a good life and learning from these videos. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you all soon. Hmm.